Don't despair. The good guys are winning. They're Tarya Fest versus Burning Man. <laughs> good boy, Pablo. All right, so, but first, look at the beauty behind it. I mean, look at that. It's just green. It's just, look at that elephant ear thing. I got that, uh, my friend And, uh, who, uh, who's the husband, the wife of a guy who was in the army with Ron. Uh, she gave that to me when she, they came up here uh, a year and a half, two years ago or so. We went down there to Savannah. And I uh, put that on the ground. And that sucker is growing like a freaking vine. And it was just nothing. And so here's a guy I haven't spoken to in 35 years. They watched my YouTube channel. They texted me or emailed me a couple of years ago. And we rekindled our relationship with Ann and Ron. And uh, it's just great. Um, because it's all about relationships. It's all about community. All right. So Owen B. And I can't say his last name because I'll probably be banned off YouTube. Uh, otherwise known as the Big Bear. When he was kicked out of Hollywood for daring to challenge the 57 Flavors and, you know, kicked out from his agency. And this is a guy, you know, he was on Jay Leno, uh, friends with Vince, good friends with Vince Vaughn. Yeah, just, I mean, he's a big, you know, he's, he was a big wit, comedian, uh, you know, extraordinaire. But just because he challenged the 57 Flavors, the, uh, and he was on Joe Rogan three times, they banned him from everything. In fact, they even said to his wife, who was doing Airbnb up in Saranac Lake, New York, she could no longer do an uh, Airbnb. This is in, in 2017. It's crazy. Anyway, so uh, he, he, he has his group called the Bears. So we, and I'm part of it, 100%. And the Bears on Bertaria Times, the Bertaria Times app. Anyway, so last, uh, about a year or so, two years ago, something like that, he was going to raise money to buy land in Missouri, in Texas County, Missouri, so he could have a national festival every year with uh, like-minded people. Otherwise known as the Bears. He raised it, and there's a guy who was a bear who was going to sell it to him for a, a cheaper than market value price because it's the same group preference, and you have to practice same group preference. So uh, Owen bought uh, 33 acres. 33 is a, a magical number, just FYI. It's actually kind of funny. Anyway, so he bought 33 acres. They had a festival last year. Which was which was good. Um, I didn't go. Um, I'm a donor to it, but I didn't go because I don't like to camp. <laughs> you gotta have. You, know, you gotta be camping. And I'm not a camper. I just don't like it. Anyway, and that that was a good turnout. It was the first one. It was kind of uh, haphazardly put together. I don't want to say it negatively, but just it was it was uh, the the weather and all that. But it was a good turnout. This year though was a lot more organized. A lot more. And I hate, again, this is not saying that it wasn't organized well last time. It was just. It wasn't nearly to the extent that this year was, if that makes sense. And on top of that, Owen went down there himself to do his first comedy uh, routine in four years. And there must have been thousands of people down there, thousands of people. Anyway, I'm going to share with you what Owen had posted on his Telegram account. Uh, this is fantastic. So he said, our festival this year was such a blast. Was talking to one of the sheriff's deputies who was working with us, or one of the sheriffs, I guess, who was working with us. He was blown away by how there was no trash anywhere and everyone got along and there were no incidents. I really think having no alcohol is a move. We had a huge amount of people camping and going to shows for three days and it's very comfortable for families with kids. They were playing everywhere with no problem. That literally can't happen with drunk and high people. Even if they can manage themselves, there's always a little bit unpredictability and animalistic. What I'm saying. Life is so much enjoy more enjoyable with sober-minded, family-oriented people having an actual good time than those hellish pits of degeneracy like Burning Man. If you have to drink to have fun, that's your heart telling you you shouldn't actually be there, and you're numbing yourself to the reality that you aren't somewhere where you should be. Um, anyway, I just so if you think about these silly, silly groups like uh, Antifa and the the anti climate, the climate change people, these silly, silly people who get together. It's a freaking pigsty. You know, the uh, the, the Me Too, or whatever the hell it was, the pink hat people in D.C., it's a freaking pigsty. They leave a pigsty. It's degenerates. They're all just, and I don't know about Burning Man. I assume it's this thing. I, I can almost guarantee it's just it's LSD through. I, you know, they still do. I don't know what people do. What are the cool kids doing anymore? I don't know. You know I've been sober since uh, February, uh, March 25th, uh, May 25th, 1997. I don't know what the, 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 the high people, the, the, you know, the hippies that want to be hippies and burning. I don't know, but it, I can tell you, would you really bring your kids there? No. At Bertaria, they had the kids there all over the place. Owen's wife and his, their four kids were there. It's, I, I mean, I'm watching the pictures on the Telegram and the Bertaria Times app, and I can't show it to you because I'm not sure if it's, uh, you know, I, I just don't know if I can. So I'm not going to. 
It's just, it's freaking great. All these kids out there running around having tug of wars, getting their face painted. No one's drinking. No one's fighting. Um, it's, it's just, it's fantastic, man. Um, you know, I had a truly good and beautiful time filming the festival. And Owen Benjamin's uh, Noble Savage uh, thing was special. But most excited to meet old friends for the first time. I didn't expect to get knee deep or neck. I didn't expect to get neck deep in so much what we call late night gravy, like the truth that was being spewed. I'm super inspired to go home and start my hill to grow on. It's a hill to grow on, not a hill to die on. And it's, uh, dude, it's just so, like, this is the thing that I just, like, the whole thing with Richmond, North of Richmond thing. It's like, I'm going to drown my tears. I'm like, dude, just sober up. Sober up. The world is your freaking oyster. It doesn't matter what Bo Jiden's doing. Sober up. Get your act together. Find yourself a woman. Have some freaking kids. And get out there and just start crushing, man. I can't tell you how many people I talk to on a daily basis who are you know, married to their high school sweethearts. Or they might even be in second marriages, but they found their, their lady and they're just freaking kicking ass and taking names because they say, you know, we've all made mistakes. We've all made mistakes. Sober your ass up and get out there and start crushing. There's no excuse to, I'm just going to work and do you know, bull crap pay and I'm going to go drink my, my fear, my sorrows away. Man, oh, don't do that. That, and look, what if you can't find a woman? Okay, I get it. There's people out there that say, I'm never going back. I get it. Women, too. They say, I'm never going back to being married. That's fine. Find a group of people who think like you. They're out there, man. You go to Bertaria app. Bertaria. Bear, B-E-A-R-T-A-R-I-A. Bertaria app. Is that BertariaTimes.com. I'll put a link into the BertariaTimes.com. That's not the app. is a lot more. I mean, this, I don't know how many people are on the app, freaking thousands. I mean, I just meet so many people on this app. So I met a lady up in uh, Maine who I talked to. I met a lady and uh, her and her husband. He's a carpenter, and uh, she's up there in Dexter, Maine, freaking crushing. Um, you know, they're not, living, they're not living high and mighty. They don't need to live high and mighty. The guy who did some electric work I met through the Bertaria Times app. You see what I'm saying? Freaking crushing. He's up there in North Georgia. I met a, I met a, guy, a lady here up in, uh, in uh, Dawsonville. Her and her family, we had a meetup in, uh, it wasn't Dawson, but where did we meet up? Some park here in North Georgia. And they went to the Bertaria to the Times, the Bertaria Festival. I met all kinds of people on there. Anytime I try to do business with somebody, the first place I look is Bertaria Times. You see what I'm saying? A Bertaria app to see if there's anyone like-minded, because same group preference. And, and these aren't all Christians, let me tell you. These aren't all Christians. There's, I mean, there's a lot of Christians on there, don't get me wrong. But there's some Muslims on there. There's some Jews on there. There's some secularists on there. There's some people who are questioning things. It's, it's, it's just be sober and be gracious and be accommodating and recognize you do live in a world of abundance. I don't know what the hell degeneracy, how many freaking abortions are going to happen because of Burning Man. I don't know. I've never been there. I will never go. I'm never going to go to the Bear Festival either because I don't like to camp unless they have some kind of setup where there's a hotel within <laughs> Smith. This is... It looks like Texas County, Missouri doesn't have that, so I'm never going down there. Actually, I talked to a, a couple, and they just bought some land down in Texas County, and they're freaking crushing too. And I don't think they know about Bertaria, but I was like, man, we, you know, this is, ah, man, it's motivating. Get your head out of the clouds with this, with the, you know, the clouds, the, the dark clouds that settle in because of alcohol, drugs, a freaking degeneracy. Like, how many abortions are gonna have again at freaking this Burning Man? How many kids are going to happen because of Bertaria Fessel? That's why we're winning and we'll continue to do. Because the good, the true, the beautiful, what might seem on its back, it will always forever win. Because that's what God wants. The good, the true, the beautiful. God, regardless of how you view your God, he will win. Because he created everything. Love your thoughts. We'll see you.